Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a video that I'm very excited about. So dupes have become a huge thing in the beauty industry recently and a lot of brands will make products that look exactly like high-end makeup products and claim to do the same thing but sell them for so much cheaper and a lot of brands have been doing this but what we are trying out today is a full face of makeup using Emco Beauty. This video is not at all sponsored by Emco Beauty. I bought these items myself and I thought that I would give them a go so I have a big box here full of stuff and we're going to be trying out a lot of products. So I do already have a couple of products from Emco Beauty so I've bought some things that I don't have to create a full face. Okay, so I think the obvious place to start would be the Hydrate and Glow Mist. This is meant to be a dupe for the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist. And, I mean, obviously, look at that. You can see it's a bit, like, pearlescent. That smells so good. The okay, first step of our actual makeup routine is the Flawless Glow Luminous Skin Filter. So this is obviously a dupe for the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. But, I mean, this looks really similar to the real thing. I also don't know about the colour because this was ordered online so I can't guarantee that this will be the right shade so that's already like one thing that you can't really try on like you can in store. That's why I never buy things like this because you can't really trust the pictures online. This is the closest that I could find online so we'll see if that's any good. I did a pretty good job with the shade matching. Actually while we're here before I blend it out I'm going to spray some setting spray. Usually I would spray my Charlotte Silvery one but today we're going in with the MCO Beauty which looks identical doesn't smell like the Charlotte Tilbury one and that's something that I really love about the Charlotte Tilbury one so I'm kind of bummed about that. Okay, definitely not much coverage but that's kind of what it's supposed to do. I kind of just meant to give you a bit of a glow and like sort of even out your complexion and it did even out my rosacea on this cheek which I tend to get really red on my cheek here but not on my right one so it's nice that it covered it up. Okay so now I'm going to use a product that I already own and that is the instant contour cream. This is definitely a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I already know that I like this. It blends really nicely. I feel like it doesn't have quite as much pigment as the Charlotte Tilbury one. Now I'm going in with the Emco Beauty blush. This is the Dream Liquid Dewy blush and it's in the shade True Pink. This is a dupe for the Rare Beauty blushes. And I've actually used Rare Beauty which is kind of insane. It's definitely something that I want to try so I can't really compare the two but I have been using this for a while. I got this on my birthday so about two months ago and I use it a lot. I really really like it and it's really pigmented. You barely need any of it. I feel like I did add a little bit too much. I literally forgot about eyebrows but I have this Emco Beauty brow precision pen and it's got a little pencil on the other side which is completely wrecked. I will say one thing about Emco Beauty is that the packaging is really bad in my opinion. I feel like it always breaks, it always leaks. So I'm just filling in a bit of my eyebrows with the pen. I don't think this is necessarily meant to be a dupe to be honest. I kind of just realized that as I was putting it on but it is still an Emco Beauty product so. Okay I feel like it's time for eyeliner. This one isn't really a dupe either, I'm sorry. But it is from Emco Beauty and recently I have been doing a little wing liner. The eyeliner that I've been using is literally like five years old. So I got a new one. Now I'm going to be putting tape on our eyes. Okay, this is taking me back to like 2016. I would do my makeup at home and like practice different eye makeup looks. Okay, we have our little wing on. Now I feel like I'm going to set my face one more time. I don't like the smell of that, honestly. It smells like laundry detergent. Okay, I'm using the Extend Lash Mascara by Emco Beauty. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a dupe. But I would say that the product that it's closest to would be the Unlocked Extensions Mascara by Hourglass. So I would mess up and get it all over my face. So they are both tubing mascaras, which means that they come off in flakes rather than smudging. Okay, now we are going to go in with the Miracle Flawless Pressed Powder. This one is meant to be a dupe for the Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. So it's a finishing powder and it's literally meant to be the best thing ever. And it does look a lot like it. I like that it has a mirror. It's kind of fun. I'm really seeing up close how bad my eyeliner is. Can't tell if there's a difference. It smells so bad. I thought we were starting off strong with this one because it smells so good. But everything else smells actually disgusting. Oh, actually, looking up close, this part looks really smooth. I'm going to use it on my cheeks because you can see the rosacea on my cheeks. And I'm going to see if it kind of conceals that. Hold on! At first I wasn't a fan, but like now that I'm really looking up close, my skin looks and feels really smooth. It says no melting, no fading, and no creasing. So we are going to see if we do crease around the mouth because it already looks like we're starting to. This is kind of the base makeup done. Now we have got the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner dupe. 
So this is called the Perfect Palette Lip Liner. If you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I have three different pencils from Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheek Collection. Nothing beats this lip liner. I have never come across a lip liner that stays as well as this. So I feel like I'm a good judge to tell you how good this is. I will say these look basically identical. All down to like the little stripe and the branding down the bottom. It's literally the same thing. Now in terms of the shade, I don't think it's really similar to any of them. So this one is Pillow Talk. This is Iconic Nude. And then this is called Rose Satin. It didn't have the other shade available. They have two and they didn't have the other one available So I'm guessing the one that was sold out is the one that's meant to be the pillow talk So I'm not too sure what shade this is. But I'm mainly just gonna test it for like the quality It's really creamy, which is what I really love about the Charlotte Tilbury one that it just goes on so easily and I think this was only like $8. But listen, we haven't seen if it's going to smudge yet And that's the main reason why I love the Charlotte Tilbury ones because they do not come off So we're gonna give it a little bit of time to set before I put anything else on it. Then we're going to try the smudge test. In the meantime, let's open this. This is the last product that I bought. And as you can probably tell by the packaging, it's meant to be a Laneige dupe. Now, if you know anything about me, it's that I love my Laneige lip masks. I have four of these. I have it in Sweet Candy, Vanilla, Berry, and then I also have it in Gummy near my bed. I'm a big fan, but these are basically identical. And we're going to see what it feels like. First thing is that it doesn't come with a spatula. Okay, this one's meant to be in fairy floss. I don't have fairy floss. So I don't have anything to compare the scent to. But I am going to mix it up with my little spatula that I got from the Laneige ones. I almost didn't want it to be good. But it smells delicious. And it looks the exact same. I'm going to show you like a side by side. Like they look incredibly similar. Obviously this one's darker. But the actual consistency looks basically the same. But first we're going to see if we can smudge the lip liner. I'm scared. It's come off. I'm just going to put some on my hand and leave it there and then see if I can smudge that off later. And next to it, I'm going to put the Pillow Talk. You can see the colours. So this one here is Pillow Talk, the lighter one. And then the Rose Satin one by Emco Beauty is on the right side. In the meantime, let's put this lip mask on. Okay, it feels incredibly similar. But I will say that this one's a lot more sticky. Whereas this one, I feel like is a lot more smooth. Like I can feel it a lot more on my lips. I feel like when I have the Laneige one on it feels really smooth. This just feels a bit more like a lip gloss. I don't like that it doesn't come with a spatula because I feel like that's the whole point of it. But I do think for $8 rather than $31 it's probably pretty good. But I don't know if I had to pick one Laneige would still be my fave. Okay let's try the smudge test one more time. So this is the Satin Rose. Smudged completely. And then this one here is the Pillow Talk. you guys see that? Charlotte Tilbury all the way, guys. I'm sorry. Let's go through all the products and I'm going to tell you guys if I think that they're worth it or not. I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to do. I don't even know if the glow recipe one is supposed to do anything. It does say hydrate and glow. I guess my face does feel hydrated, but also I did my skincare beforehand and it usually does. I probably would say that this is an unnecessary product. It's not something you probably need. And that's why I feel like this one probably would be worth it rather than the glow recipe one, because if you're going to spend money on a little facial mist that probably doesn't do much, I would spend money on the cheaper one. And I do like the smell. Okay, now we've got the little Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter dupe. It covered up what it needed to. It was light coverage, but still enough to cover up like my rosacea and like even out my skin tone. I think that this is pretty good. It gets the job done and it's pretty cheap. So I guess this one was a success. Next is the setting spray. I don't like the smell of this. I feel like I've made that pretty obvious and I don't know how long it keeps the makeup on for. I don't know. I still prefer the Charlotte Tilbury one, but for the price you could probably just do with this instead. Now this contour, I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury one is definitely better. It has more pigment and I just feel like it blends a little bit nicer, but this is pretty good for a dupe. I feel like it's quite similar. For the price, I feel like this is good enough. This blush I love. If I can recommend any Emco Beauty product, it would probably be this blush. It's so high in pigment, it's such a pretty colour, still looks really natural, so I love this stuff. As for this eyebrow pencil, it's alright. It does definitely fill in your eyebrows, but I feel like you can definitely find better. This mascara is incredible. This is definitely something I've been using for years, and I've always just loved it. And we've got the little setting powder. I think it's alright. I don't think that it beats the Charlotte Tilbury one necessarily, but for the money, my skin feels really smooth. It looks really flawless, and I think it's pretty good for the price. Mm -mm. Um, I think the colour of this is really pretty. I just remembered that I turned off my camera before because it was about to die. So I charged it and I went to the bathroom. I made myself a coffee and now I'm back. So it's been a little while. And now that I'm looking at it, I just realised that this one has completely come off. And the Charlotte Tilbury one is still on there. And she's not coming off. That's why I just... This one's a flop. 
And lastly this, I mean for the price it's pretty good. I would say this is still quite a success and it definitely passes as a dupe, like it's very close to the real thing. Anyway, I think that is all. I hope I didn't miss anything. But anyway, this is a full face of dupes. I think it came out pretty good. I am noticing a little bit of creasing underneath my eyes already. I'll try and film an update by the end of the night if I do remember. I probably collectively give this like an 8 out of 10. I would still definitely prefer some of the original product of the dupes, but the other ones were pretty good. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!